Hey everyone, it's Mojax back in the DJ City UK lab. Today we are talking about a fairly momentous new release in the world of DJ software, Serato DJ Pro. This is effectively Serato DJ 2.0, but it's such a big release that they've taken the opportunity to rename the software, intro is gone, they've changed everything around. So we've got basically a whole new lineup from Serato in New Zealand. Lots of new features to talk about, lots of tweaks. So let's get to it. So here is Serato DJ Pro, and as you can see, it doesn't look massively different from Serato DJ, and that's because this is not a complete rewrite like it was from Scratch Live to Serato DJ. This is fundamentally the same application, but with a number of tweaks, particularly under the hood. The main one being the switch from 32-bit to 64-bit architecture. Now that is a big deal. Most operating systems have been 64-bit for many years now, and chances are if you've got a 32-bit OS, you're already well out of date when it comes to Serato DJ updates. So I don't have an issue with the shift over there. You won't lose compatibility on any recent machine, but it does mean that now Serato DJ can take advantage of all the power and all the memory on modern laptops and desktops. It means that you've now got access to all the virtual memory that you need, which was a big problem with Serato DJ and the issue which has gone on for quite some years of large libraries. Once you get to a certain number of files, there's no kind of specific number, but you know, people rock in 100,000 tracks and hundreds of crates or even thousands of crates, you are gonna run into memory issues with the older 32-bit version. That should now be completely eliminated and we are talking about really unlimited libraries here in Serato DJ Pro. So that is a big deal. It's not something you can see, but it's there and it's very important. Now there are some new features though included in Serato DJ Pro, and this is the most obvious of them is practice mode. Now this is your traditional offline player. You can play a track, you can set your cue points, you can set saved loops, you can also do your beat grids and so on. But now we click over here into the two deck mode, practice mode is there, and we can now sync two together. We've got auto, you know, manual beat adjustment if you wanna do it that way, but you can sync stuff up. And we've got a crossfader between the two. Still got access to all your key points and loops and everything else. But this means now you can practice your blends, try out new tracks in the mix on the road, sat on your couch. There's no hardware required. Just uses the internal sound card on your computer. You've also got volume control on each one. And so this is a big deal. You know, this has been in lots of software platforms for a long time and now we have it in Serato DJ as well. It's not a complete mixing solution of course, you can't you know, perform a whole set with it. I mean, you could in theory, I suppose, but you can't queue up and everything else. You haven't got any EQs, but yeah, for setting up those blends, for practicing stuff, this is absolutely a superb change to the software. I think people are gonna absolutely love it. Now, one other feature, I've just connected hardware so I can actually show you this feature. They've added in a new performance pad queue layout. So this is the traditional queue point layout. You've got eight queue points there and they're in the sort of list there. Now you have the option to go to performance pad queue layout and that looks a lot more like your traditional Serato DJ pad layout. And it's just a little bit more visually simple to kind of work with. If you're using a mixer or a controller with those eight pads on there, this is going to line up completely with that. It's a small touch, but one I definitely like. Also on a visual tip, Serato DJ Pro now includes high DPI support, which means if you've got a high definition display like a Retina display on a Mac or a 4K display on a Windows machine, you're gonna see much crisper results. Now this machine I'm working on is just 1280 by 800, but even on my desktop with just a 1080p display, when you go in and enable the high res screen display, that does make a difference to how sharp it looks. And also the interface is a lot more scalable than it was before. So if you're working in that really high resolution, Serato DJ Pro should look a lot more attractive. Of course, there's plenty of other bug fixes and things under the hood as well that you can't see going on. And it will continue to support new hardware as time moves on. Now on the back of this, they've also changed Serato DJ intro to Serato DJ Lite, which is more of a stripped back version of this, a lot like intro was before. We won't look at that one today, we'll look at that next time we review uh, intro or light level controller here on the channel. 
And the other good news with Serato DJ Pro is that it is a free upgrade. If you already own a license or if you're using hardware which unlocks the full software, there is no additional cost for you. You can just download this and upgrade to this as if it is just a regular new point release of Serato DJ, but you are getting a lot more there. They've clearly put a lot of work into the back end. So there you go, a good look around Serato DJ Pro. I never review new versions of software. There will always be a new one along any minute. But when there is such a momentous change like this version, you know, going from Serato DJ to Serato DJ Pro, it's always worth investigating a bit more closely. And there is a lot to look at here. I really like, for me, the big feature is the shift under the hood from 32-bit to 64-bit. You know, it's not something you'll feel on your decks. It's not something you'll see on your screen but that is a big change. That means that finally Serato DJ can address the full computing power of modern up-to-date laptops. You know, mine is old and crusty, but if you've got a brand spanking new MacBook Pro or a high-end Windows machine, you will get a lot more performance now out of Serato DJ and the whole thing with large libraries. There's always been a bit of an issue with that in Serato software, and now that should be completely gone. So that's great. But yeah, the visual upgrades, you know, high-res screens, the new pad mode layout, a big deal, and that now offline practice mode with the two decks there, you can actually audition your mixes on the road. I know a lot of people have been waiting a long time for that to appear in Serato software, so I'm very glad to see that turn up. Overall, this is not like a big paradigm shift as it was between you know Scratch Live and Serato DJ. This is still Serato DJ, but it is tweaked, it is updated, it is improved, and there's definitely a lot of new stuff to check out. If you are, I can't imagine why you'd still be, but if you are one of the old school Scratch Live holdouts, now is really the time to make the shift. You know, if you're a Serato DJ user, this upgrade is a no brainer. Just switch out straight away. All your old hardware is still gonna work, no issues there. But yeah, if you're a Scratch Live user, you know, Serato DJ has worked great for a long time. It is time to make that switch. It is time to move forward, you know, move forward in terms of computing and your actual software that you're working with, because really, yeah, this is the business right here. This is where you need to be in 2018. Thank you for watching today. Make sure you subscribe for all our future tips, tricks, and product reviews. I'll see you soon.